Oh, we find ourselves in Rolvenden near Cranbrook in Kent, and this is the home of the CM Booth motor car collection. Primarily Morgans, I believe, but it should be interesting to have a route around and just see what there is. What's this? And here we are inside. Let's go and have a quick look. Wonderful collection of old oil bottles. There's certainly plenty of motor and memorabilia in here to ogle over. Lots of dinky toys as well. Oof. Look at those. Wow, various early dinkies in here. There's the Auto Union, the Land Speed record car. That's a post war example, but they did make them pre war as well. That's the Hotchkiss. Is my knowledge needed? Oh, I'm just looking at these dinkies here. Is any of my knowledge needed? What's that one called? The green one there. Is that Thunderbolt? Yes. That's Thunderbolt, isn't it? Yes. And that's just a fairly generic one at the back there. And the other racing ones there. They've got a post war to Union. Yeah, it's a post war, so isn't it? With the race. Driver. Yeah, the early ones had the driver and the, the flat wheels Next as well. Next to the MG Land Speed Record car. And you've got your 50s Grand Prix cars there. Yeah, right there. Then you've yeah. got your Foden's down here, which I think quite like. Mm -hmm. And the transporter at the back. With, with the exit ramp, actually, you don't see them. Yeah, the exit sports cars as well. That's the Bristol, isn't it? That one? Bristol 450 or 405. Connaught, DB3S. That's the Mercedes, isn't it? TR2 and then was that um, some... That's that sorry, um, the, Talbot. Uh, that's the uh, Cunningham, isn't yes. it? Yes. Wow. And that's the rare colour scheme with the taxi. Is it? It's usually the, the black, but that's well, the that slightly one. rarer colour scheme. Oh, I see it. Right. I like all these bottles though. Yes, I've just Especially been... Especially that Solval. I've just been looking. You've got some French dinkies here. It's a real little fire. hidden gem, this museum. This is the... This is the details here of the CM Booth collection. If you want to visit, there's the address down in Kent. Well worth a visit by the look of it, and we've only just stepped through the door. These are all the French dinkies, so these are quite a bit rare. Are they? Yeah, you can yeah. see all the French ones, they're all together. Oh, right. There's two CVs. More Petroliana, Castrol, the old uh, petrol pump globes. A wonderful old petrol pump here as well. Look at this. Gallons of Wayne. It's a handsome old pump, isn't it? Lots more model cars in here. These are merit. These are merit kits that have been assembled. Yeah. The Lancia Ferrari D50, the 154. That's the Alfetta, isn't it? Yeah, you've got one of those. Someone off the old classic car forum kindly donated you one of those, didn't he? Yeah. That was Mike C, wasn't it? If you're watching yeah. it, thanks. <laughs> yeah. There's a Tom Lego. There's a Mercedes. We've got all those. Oh, um, yeah. I like the van. Look at these, isn't The D-type. Yes. The D-type. ERA, isn't it? Is that a Scammel or Scandal or something? That's no, a Scammel. Yes, a yeah, Scammel. Right. right. A Scammel. It's a metal. Yeah, there's a It's a metal toy. Is that a Dinkie or something? These are. Some obscure little maker. Yeah, the plane. Really. Yeah, the plane. This old delivery sort of hand cart thing here, isn't it? There's a rock sign. R O P. So what's that? Russian. That's Russian oil product, isn't it? Morgan Grand Prix. I know there are quite a few people on the forum known to their Morgans. Mm -hmm. 1922. Red X. Mm -hmm. And an impressive collection of Morgans. It's a space there, isn't it? Hmm? There's a so big the, space underneath. Yes, that's the Morgan Grand Prix. What do we have here then? There's our OP Motor Spirit can there. What's this, a Morgan Aero? They did a modern version of these, but just they called the Aero as well. Did they? Yeah, so it's like the new Morgan sort of cross eyed shape. Oh, one of those. You know the ones that look, sort of look like they're looking in. Hmm. A, oh, yes. a bit odd. Nice Austin dealership sign at the moment. You see that globe? Oh, uh, yeah, Aero Special. That's nice. Wow. Pretty amazing collection of spark plugs here. KLG signs, old signs there. P 
pieces out of old magazines, but I'm assuming some of these are aero related. The old tins for Lodge spark plugs and KLG. There's Castrol oil cans, Castrol Grand Prix. That's I know, nice. yeah, that's the one that caught my eye as well. Yeah, I'm sure. I, I think I've got the S. Castrol R. Yeah, that's the one you want. Yeah. Castrol R. Are those significantly rare? It's the racing one, isn't it? It's the, uh, it's the oil yeah. they use. The one that smells nice. Yes. <laughs> a lovely shell glow. I like the Benzol one. Austin yeah, motor cars? Yeah. Austin. Oh, oh that's a look. Oh, yes. What have we got here? Austin recommend mobile oil exclusively. See the filler cap. There's a lovely old garage memorabilia. Hmm? Castro. Yeah. There's some stuff here, isn't it? Wow. Oh, yeah. Some sort of Wakefield Castrol oiler or greaser there. Yeah, I thought it was greaser. John Bull radiator hose clips. <laughs> yep, if you like your vintage cars and classic cars, I strongly recommend popping into here if you find yourself down in the Kent area. It's uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a hidden gem. This is. Let's have a look down here. So we've got the Morgan Aero, which we've already looked at. Another Morgan here. What's this one? Matchless powered. So Morgan Super Sports from 1934. Handsome, isn't it? More tins to ogle at, Dunlop tyre paint. <laughs> That's a nice and early one. Yeah. Delco shock absorber oil at that. It's good as bus here. Yeah, if you like your motor memorabilia, this is a this is heaven. A lovely plastic model bus. Looks continental somehow. Let's just have a quick look in this cabinet that we zipped past before. There's, there's a lot of nice things. I probably don't really need to talk too much, but you can see nice old Austin, Austin A40 Devon playing cards there. A nice Shackleton lorry at the back there with an XK120 and an MGTF, I think, on the back. And got various mascots, the guy lorries, Indian head there. Is that not the Benzol? Hmm? Is that not the National Benzol? No. What? Well, right. Which one? Let's have a further look down here. Nice Dunlop in there. Mm. Oh yeah, you yeah, can see. It. Lots more cans and tins here. Shell handy oil, Dunlop accessories, patent Castrol motor oil, gear oil, Shell motor oil. Shukos. A few more tins there. Carburol. Wow. Shukos. Oh. <laughs> Tin plate shoe coats. The Mercedes, and then you got the Ferrari behind. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That? That's shoe coat as well. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to work out what. Can't remember is it which one. one I don't remember which one it is. And then you got the shoe coat 3000. That's at the, the smaller shoe coat, isn't it? That's yeah. the one where you wind the exhaust and it turns to steering. And then in that front one. of those petrol that pumps, you got the shoe coat 3000 at the back. What's this thing with wings on it? <laughs> I have no that idea. Porsche 356. That's nice. That's gorgeous. I like this one, to be honest. <laughs> Not like all of them, I'm not saying I don't like those, but nice castrol pourer. Oh, yes. You can always tell the early ones because they have like a chunkier top. Mm. I think that just looks fantastic. That's a nice sign, isn't it? We have no need to praise the Morgan runabout, Morgan Motors. This really is an amazing collection. It's pretty cool, isn't it? That's the one on the right, must be. I'm not sure about the one on the left. I've got one of those. Yeah. Lots of car mascots as well. All these aviation, the Schneider, the Supermarine, the, what do we call it? The Schneider, Schneider Cup. Trophy. Yeah, the Schneider Trophy aircraft there. Is that 38? About them, isn't it? You've got the old mammal type steam machines. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? a little green car there. It's like rubber. I think it's metal. This museum isn't just Morgan cars and 
fantastic memorabilia. We've also got a few early motorcycles in here. There's a Premier. Let's see what it says. 1911 Premier 246cc. Two and a half horsepower model of side valve. Direct belt drive, no clutch. Price new, £36. Let's have a closer look. Oh, it's the ones that you pedal to get them started. Yeah, there's no clutch. <laughs> Which must oh, be, sorry, that must be quite exciting. That must be quite yeah. exciting. And then next up, at the bottom of a hill. what's this? A Royal Enfield, yeah. 223 oh. cc two-stroke engine, two-speed gears, supplied to an agent in Durban, South Africa, in 1917. Reputedly used by the Durban Post Office. Brought to England in 1981, then to Switzerland in 87, and back to England in 2005. Wow. I think Royal Enfield and Rudge have to be my favourite bikes. Mm. I think they're just the one some of the best. And we've got a new Hudson a bit further along. 1941 new Hudson auto cycle with a 1998cc Villiers engine in there. Last licensed in 19, last on the road in 1945. Wow. It's got the proper pump as well. Well done, lot pump. I thought that was the duo can for a moment. <laughs> you wish. So let's have a look in this cabinet. Right. Well, there are some real gems in here if you like your automobilia. Wow. Look at that. This can contain oil for your V8 Ford. Castrol XL, Shell XL, Castrol O, Motorine. Castrol. Mm, look at that. that shell Pourer. Oh, that's fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Set of brake linings there for an Austin 7. BSA special lubricating oil, early cycle and motorcycle lamps. Move across here. The Dion Bouton oil. Wow, that is rare. That is early, isn't it? That's what, 100, 110, 115 years old, probably now. Speedwell oil is up there. Pratt's. <laughs> wow. Pratt's motor oil. This place is a real gem of a museum. Wow, you know, Pratt's motor oil. I've never seen so anything. It was on the top as well. Everything, even if it's hidden away, it's just so good. Everywhere you look. What's more toys? Charbons of England. Mercury. There's some real oddball things here. Look at that lorry at the back, that United yeah. Transport. Wow. Oh, is this Crescent, this one? I don't know. Oh, those are... Those, are those crescents. look like Crescent, don't they, yeah, over they there? Yeah, because of the wheels and the drivers. Yes. Yeah, they look D-type, those are rare. Mm, D-type. Mm. So what's that, Gordini? Uh, Connaught? Yes. BRM? DB3S? Um, what's that? Cooper, it's Cooper Bristol. Bristol, isn't it? Yeah. Ferrari. And Ferrari. Um, and Mercedes. Mercedes. Streamlined. Yes. That's rare. And Mercury, which is an Italian that? MIG. So that's the Lancia Ferrari. Yep. That I've never seen anything like. No. Even in like toy catalogues or anything. No. It just doesn't appear. How about that then? <laughs> Tootsie toy. Wow. What have we got in here? I'm not in here. Smith's blue coal antifreeze. Oh, wow, it's triangle. For radiators. It's triangle. It's not. Look at that Morris Minor MM. TR2, MGTF, lots more toys. Right, let's keep going. Back to the Morgans for a moment. Here's another another Morgan Aero. What does it say about this one? 1930 Morgan Super Sports Aero 1096cc, Jap engine, overhead valve, water cool, two speed gear, M chassis, price new, £145. Possibly the most sporting model produced. Used at several speed events in 1964 and 5 at Silverstone and Alton Park. Well, wow. if you like your Morgans, or any vintage cars for that matter, I highly recommend hunting down this little place. It's not the easiest of places to find, but it's well worth, well worth looking for it. Absolutely amazing. And yet more memorabilia over on the far shelf there. Pedal car up there, cool. 
grief. What's this? Another Morgan Aero. This is 1924 Morgan Aero 1096 cc with a Blackburn engine. An early Aero model fitted with the following extras: front wheel brakes, wheel discs, split rim wheels, electric starter, and a spot lamp. Total price new: 185 pounds. So this is a Blackburn powered car. This has got the Jap engine. It really is a feast for the eyes. Next in the collection of classic and vintage Morgans we have a Ford powered example. This is a 1935 Morgan F4 with the 1172cc Ford 10 horsepower engine, a bit like featured in the pre-war CX and the post-war Ford Pop 103Es. This is a four-seater designed a bit more with a family buyer in mind as opposed to competition drivers. Here's the information sheet, so rather than repeat it all, I'll just have a look at that. It's a real Bobby Dazzler, isn't it? And while we're here, let's just have a quick look. Up there we've got a Gresham Flyer Child's Tricycle. Stunning pedal car there, probably Triangle, I would have thought. Yes, yeah, sports pedal car, circa 1939. We've got a Vauxhall pedal car up here, 1936, wood body and a chain final drive, it says. Oh, look at that Castro thing. Yeah, some gorgeous Castro R as well. <laughs> it's French, isn't it? Huile pour mouture. That must be early, is that 20s? It could be 20s or 30s, isn't it? So that would be sort of Bugatti. Could be, couldn't it? Wow. Well, there's something interesting. Sir Malcolm Campbell, Salt Lake City, for Wendover via New York, per American Express Company says there, part of a packing case used to take equipment to Salt Lake City on the occasion of Sir Malcolm Campbell taking a land speed record to 301.13 miles an hour with the 2,500 horsepower Bluebird, 2nd of September 1935 at Bonneville Salt Flats, Utah in the USA. Now that is a piece of history there. To be honest, this whole place is oozing with history and I have severe, severe garage envy. <laughs> you just see these things, you'd have to come here several times yeah, just yeah. to see everything. Yeah, I could live here definitely. Look at that French tin there. Hmm? That French tin. Oh, There's two of them actually. Mm -hmm. Lots of old garage letters, H. Miller & Co, BSA Cycles Limited, Joseph Lucas Limited, the Austin Motor Company Limited, 1939. I feel like we're missing the obvious things, just look at the cars. I know, what is this? And we've walked straight past this. So what is it, a Humber, a Humber with Olympia tricar body. Uh, I mean, just look. Morgan Aero, Morgan, and I think that's another Morgan Aero, and then you've got the two Grand Prix. Yeah, I know, it's just, fantastic. it's incredible, isn't it? I mean, us being us, we've always looked around like the corners trying to find things yeah. that people haven't well, seen. So everywhere, every little corner yeah. you look in, you just find amazing things. You'd have to there's come a, here a, a few cabinet, times. There's a cabinet there's full of trophies it. there. You'd have to spend so much time here to see everything. Original Brooklyn's poster there, 1935. British Empire Trophy Race Donington, 1936. I think I've probably got the programme for that, but not the poster. Rare. Two gallon petrol cans. More petrol cans. Mazda. <laughs> wow. Mazda motor car lamps. Oh, it's got a motor in it. Matchless. Crash helmet. Another Morgan here. Has that got a motor in the little coach? Yeah, it's is got it? a tiny little motorbike engine or something in it. Yeah. But I'll go. Then we've got a Morgan quad built during 1913 as an experiment. Grief. Yet more memorabilia. Huge collection. Yeah. Motor car badges. Pratt's mirror up there. Pratt's perfection motor spirit sign. Motoring memorabilia everywhere you look. Homely garage. 
sidecar taxis. You're standing right in front of something that I think deserves. Yeah, we've already had a quick look at this. This is the, the one fat pair powered by the Ford 10 engine. Four seater, the family man's Morgan, if you like. If you had to give up racing when the family came along, maybe this would be the compromise. Ooh, lots more old fuel cans and a not when oil can at the back there, which is very nice indeed. Old AA garage signs, petrol cans hanging up, the old two gallon petrol cans everywhere you look. New Ford car prices. So the old sign out of a car dealership somewhere, Pratt's Motor Oil, Carpol, buy it here, Texaco, Lubricine, Goodyear tyres down there. What's this Morgan here? Is this another Aero? Yeah. <laughs> Good grief. Amazing. Another cabinet rammed full of memorabilia. Something for everyone there, I think. We've got a recreation of a 1909 Morgan prototype here. Beautifully executed. So it is, isn't it? It's just one little wheel arch and then just nothing in here. Yeah. It's nothing. You'd have to have quite long legs <laughs> to drive that, wouldn't you? It's quite a... You would actually quite a long way away, yeah. aren't you? And what's this one here? What's this one? 1924 Grand Prix. This is a Morgan Grand Prix model fit with a British Anzani overhead valve water cool engine of 1078cc. Period accessories fitted include electric starter, wheel disc, front wheel brakes, Hooli steering damper, a rear wheel stabiliser, windscreen wiper, and a petrol can carrier, klaxon horn, clock, dashboard lamp, ship style ventilators. Everything you could possibly need. Look how ornate that dashboard is. It is beautiful, isn't it? Those air sort of things are a bit like they have on the Austin 7 Swallow saloons. They have those on the scuttle, very similar to that. And that's our foot pump down there, just casually on the floor. <laughs> yeah, Auto Cycle Union sign up there. BSA Motorcycles, RAC, Anglo's Taxi Bus Spirit petrol cans. Tricycle and a tandem. <laughs> well, 1890 quadrant tricycle. Lloyd Brothers remote steering introduced in 1884. This machine was found in a Skegness orchard <laughs> by Mr. Booth's grandfather in 1969 and restored in 1984. Amazing. They got a nice tandem there. The bicycle made for two. And yet more yesteryear. toy cars. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then you've got your Lesnews. Oh, they are nice. The small the, ones. The they look good in bulk. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Quite like the Aston DB2, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a DB24, isn't it? got a Vauxhall Victor F Type, an XK. Is that a Bentley? MGA. MGA. What's that a Zephyr, is it? I, I think so, because I remember yes. seeing one at Alden. The Hilma Minx. Wolves the 1500. What's that one? I don't know. Not sure about that one. Is that 100E? Looks a bit like 100E. A few more on the row above. That's stamped, doesn't it? Um, That's a Vauxhall. Sorry, yeah. Like a Velox or a Cresta or something. Isn't I it? just saw the shape of the room. I like the evening news. Um, yeah. Bedford, that's quite rare, and especially to have. Oh, the Bedford CA. Yeah. yeah. And the Dunlop van alongside. You've got the milk float. Bedford CA there. You've got the Trojan. Oh, wow, that's the Brook Bond T one. That, that, I think, if I'm correct. Oh no, I might be thinking about the dinky one. Hmm. I think to celebrate some, some sort of centenary for Brook Bond Tea, they made like a hundred or so. Did they? With, I think, I think that's the Trojan van, but I right. can't remember what other van it was. Dinky did something very similar to that. Right. Morgan's. This little gem is a 1934 Morgan Super Sport. Built in, not built in 1935 with a matchless air red valve air cooled engine. There it is. Really is a thing of beauty this, isn't it? And what's this van? What is it? It's a Morris. The Morris. Van. It says Does it say? Light van, it says. Morris light van. We like our old commercials. What does it say there on the... There's like a little information. 1929 Morris light van, 11.9 horsepower, four cylinder side valve engine, three speed and reverse gearbox. Gearbox based on the cowboy. Hmm. Well, 
So what year was it? 29. Male van. Was it? <laughs> Oh, it's got sold to a Surrey farmer in '35, and used for general farm duties until 1959 when it was bought by a landscape gardener who used it until 1964. Wow. It's a real Bobby Dazzler, isn't it? A mobile oil cabinet rammed with old memorabilia. Look at these Pratt's and Carberine f filler ne uh, funnels up here. Sphinx plugs. Yeah. I've never seen that before. You've got a nice, what is that? Um. Yeah, more cans, castrol gear oil, jumbo burning oil, junior shell, gargoyle, mobile oil A, various maps, carburel, lodge plugs, ferro grip fan belt, <laughs> stop it freezing, That's an early antifreeze, some racing goggles there, prices motorine, oh, John Bull tyres. BP mm -hmm. Yeah, so sure BP. I've never seen a proper BP tin before, it's always signed. Hmm. The petrol Texaco. pump. Texaco. Yeah. Oh, there's a nice, couple of nice badges in the plaques. Back to the 1929 Morris van. Mm -hmm. Quick peek inside. Stuart and Arden Limited for Morris Trucks service after purchase. And if that was the original supplying dealer. Wow. Oh, it's one of these. What's that? Oh yeah, that's the only other time I've ever seen one of those. We've got one of those in the back of Big Dodge, haven't we? Yeah. Got, was that later Red X? Power. Hmm? Is that a later that's Red That's a slightly later yeah. one than the one we Different saw before. Colors. Midland What's Cycle that? Touring Mobile Bags. Oil. Mobile oil. More badges. That's more Morgan badges, aren't they? Mostly, mostly Morgans. Wow. Hmm. Ferro grip fan belt. <laughs> Loads more badges. Is that a Model A? Yeah, this is. If that wasn't enough, we got another room. Oh, look at that caravan. This is a 1929 Ford Model A two door saloon, a Tudor, built at Ford Traffic Park, Manchester. Uh, blah, blah, blah. A number of different body styles were available. This was known as the Tudor or two door. Same running gear as the Model AA we've got. Stunning vintage motorcycle and sidecar combination here. Shell globes, everywhere you look, another shell pump. Wow. What's that? Red X. Cool, that's nice, isn't it? Fantastic. Look at that upper cylinder oil can there. <laughs> Grief. All road signs, Crover across and Uckfield, A26. Good grief. What's this then? A Wrightcraft scooter car. Grief. I've seen some Wrightcrafts, but they look like miniature little cars. This is more like a racing car look, isn't it? It's got the exhausts coming out the side. There it is. The electric scooter car. Wow. I've captured the public's fancy because they are real cars. They're designed a replica of the latest type of racing car. Their speed is in keeping with their appearance. That is something else. It's not like an aircraft tailwheel or something. It looks like isn't it. It looks it looks like a tail wheel, yeah. And you can see you've got a petrol engine version as well. <laughs> wow. That is incredible. Cleveland Disco. Cleveland Disco Red X. Perhaps. Morris Oil Gear Oil. Like wherever you look it's just, it's just incredible. It's incredible, isn't it? And this motorcycle as well looks splendid as well. What's this? A felon and war limited. <laughs> Rally. Oh, look at that. Castrol. Castrol. It's one of the oil mm, containers. Cleveland Disco pump. Oh. How tasty is that? It's just magnificent, isn't it? And super Shell, BP Super, <laughs> petrol pump globes, Enfo Red cans. Oil, perhaps stop here. Because <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? And what's this then? A Morgan Standard. This is 1927 with a 980cc Jap engine. Side valve <laughs> tucked away in there. It's easy to get in, isn't it? Well, they're trying to get to sort of the more conventional car look by putting yeah, this sort of front end on. Cool. Rather than having the engine fully exposed, they were trying to sort of make it look a little bit more like like your Austin 7s and things like that. Yeah, it does um, come up more. 980cc, two-speed. Mm -hmm. yeah. This was the cheapest model in the Morgan range, having a simpler body, shorter chassis and no front wheel brakes. So would this still have been the same engine as the early ones? Possibly, possibly. Oh. So I would have thought they'd put a grill on it. Too. Yeah, there's so many different engine variations, but being air cooled you can't block it off too much. Oh, you see, yeah. So you've got all these louvers and the side panel here and on the top. 
and of course you've got this huge opening on the front just to try and try and keep it cool because it's really designed to be in fresh air. BP Globe. Oh there's the old Michelin tyre pump. <laughs> if you like your old caravans you're in for a treat. This is a 1936 Bampton expanding model. Look at that. Bampton Brothers coach builders Swindon Wiltshire. Isn't that just... <laughs> reminds me of that waterfold we had a bit. Obviously that was a lot newer. I like the light, I've just seen it on the side of the Model A. Oh it's a lovely yeah, light. Looks like a little spot lamp isn't it? Got the period tax disc, 1930s, or mm. the petrol pump on the side. Yeah, it's a very nice order this Model A isn't it? Very usable vintage car. Good spares availability if you want to get a vintage car and an Austin 7 is too small. The Model A is probably the, <laughs> one of the best choices really. Oh. Can you see in there? Can you? Yeah, you can get an idea. It's actually quite a low roof, but I'm sure it will go up a bit after it's <laughs> got one gallon. I think that concludes our visit to the most wonderful CM Booth Collection Motor Museum down in Rolverden in Kent. Hopefully that'll focus more or less. Maybe, maybe not. I'll include the address in the description anyway. But it is a truly fantastic collection. And if you're ever down this corner of the world, and even if you're not, I highly recommend popping down to come and have a look in here. It's £4 each to get in. And for that, you get to look at this wonderful collection of old motoring and garage memorabilia. Morgans and much, much more. Thanks very much for watching. More videos very soon.